is the Earth 4 billion 600 million years old? Or is it only 2 million 191 thousand days or 6,000 years old? If the Earth is young, then none of the theories of evolution can be true because there was simply no time for evolution. Today science has hundreds of scientific arguments in favor of the use of the Earth, the solar system, the galaxy and the universe. Let's consider some of them. The Moon is approximately 385,000 km from the Earth. The force of gravity is equal to 200 quintillion newtons. Nevertheless, the Moon is moving away from the Earth at a shocking speed, as much as 5 cm a year. Maybe it doesn't shock you, but it should. If the Moon is only 6,000 years old, then it has only shifted by 300 meters since its creation. If we agree with the theory of evolution and allow the Moon to return to the Earth with an initial speed of 5 cm per year, then the force of gravity will constantly grow as they approach. In this case, the Moon, moving in a spiral orbit, will quickly fall to the Earth a little less than 1.4 billion years ago. In the past, the distance between the Earth and its satellites couldn't be less than 18,500 km, the Roche limit. Otherwise, the force of gravity would destroy the Moon, and we would have a ring instead of satellite. In addition, the Moon costs tides. 200 quintillion newtons can set in motion large volumes of water. Approaching the Earth during the countdown, being at a distance of 80,000 km from the Earth, the Moon would cause tides up to 1.5 km. If the magnitude of the tides were much higher than today, the rate of erosion would also increase. The continents would be destroyed in a short time. The weakening of the Earth's magnetic field is the most serious argument in favor of the use of the Earth. Evolutionists cannot disprove it. Scientists have been measuring the parameters of the Earth since 1835. The magnetic field is weakening. It shrinks every year. Over the past 182 years, the field has lost 16% of its energy. 6,000 years ago, when the world had just been created, the magnetic field used to be 20 times stronger than today, and life could exist there. But more than 8,000 years ago, the magnetic field used to be so strong that it could kill all life on the Earth. The millions and billions of years that evolutionists have been talking about are just myth and fantasy. However, their religion requires faith in billions of years. But there is no evidence that the Earth has existed for that long. The real scientific evidence proves the biblical fact that the Earth is young. Evolutionists always tell us that humans have existed for hundreds of thousands of years. But why then the number of people living on our planet is so small? If you believe in this myth, then by today the number of people on the Earth would be simply enormous, and if you dig with a shovel in any part of the planet, you would come across skeletons. But arithmetic speaks of the absolute mathematical rationality of the biblical age of the Earth, 6000 years. If the world's population doubles every 150 years, then from one man and one woman, after only 32 times doubling the population, which is only 4800 years, it would reach more than 8 billion people. This is a little more than lives on the Earth today. We know from the Bible that around 2350 BC, 4350 years ago, the Great Flood reduced the number of people on the Earth to 8. Since the population doubles every 150 years, we see that if we start counting with the Noah family in 2350 BC, it turns out that 4350 years is more than enough for the current population level to reach about 8 billion people. What society doesn't know is that evolutionists never determined the age of the Earth using radiometric methods. Instead of using sleight of hand, they prove a preconceived conclusion using randomly chosen dates for certain fossils. When such fossils are found in a geological layer, which according to them, for example, are 295 million years old, the age of the layer should also be 295 million years. All this is just a myth, legend, supposition and a fairy tale proven by experienced magicians. 
Evolutionism is based on a long chain of unproven and unprovable assumptions, which is created for the sake of establishing a doctrine that has nothing to do with real physical scientific evidence. Trillions of traces of decay from polonium-218 to lead-206 found on the Earth's surface and in the Earth's crust scientifically show that the surface and the crust were created somewhere between the first second and 3.05 minutes from the beginning of time and initially in cold solid state. The polonium-218 halo shows that the Earth formed instantly. The Polonia halos are the creator's fingerprint left all over the planet. He left them to prove that in the beginning his hand formed the Earth. In order not to be deceived, subscribe to the channels of Julian Stanislav Soltanenko.